Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we have a quite new bottle here on our cask. It's the Highland Park Cast Strength. Release number one, 63.3 ABV, priced roughly at 70 euros dollars pounds. And this is the first of a series of cast strengths. And this release number one, uh, I read on the news, uh, on the web page on the news of Highland Park, is already sold out, but you might be able to find it on the shelf of your local dealer. So there is another uh, batch coming. We already have the announcement of the batch number two. So this whiskey or this video about this whiskey stands for the upcoming cast strength. I will not be able to taste all of them, but the, well, the recipe or the procedure in which this whiskey is made uh, will stay the same between those releases. They only have to change the ABV because there is a rule in Scotland starting in 2009 with the new uh, regulations that cast strength really has to be cast strength, not high proof that you add your cast together and then reduce it uh, by 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 uh, percentage points uh, down to uh, a common level as, as it was uh, typical several years ago. No, you really have to mix your cask and then write the resulting ABV on the bottle and on the package. So every release will have a different ABV. There are uh, distilleries out there which, uh, well, mix up their casks in that way that they always reach the same ABV and then they add half a cask of high strength. But these casks are mixed by the, uh, how is it called, the uh, master whiskey maker, Gordon Motion, and he selects American oak casks, predominantly uh, in sherry, seasoned um, in different ages and adds them together to combine it to uh, the essential DNA of Highland Park, whatever that means. And uh, it's non-chill filtered and of course, as Highland Park always is, uh, uncolored, distinctive, uh, with no uh, additives. Yeah. Sweet and smoky on the nose with aromas of violets and ripe vanilla pods gathering on a wave of aromatic peat smoke. Rich and full-bodied, soft toffee, heather honey and freshly grated nutmeg emerge on the palate enriched by a concentrated tang of sun-ripe citrus fruits. A long lingering finish leaves the impression of warm creme brulee and exotic eastern spices. Yeah, the, the card box uh, shows one of those uh, iron bands, which are rings which are uh, uh, put around the casks. The content of the bottle should resemble uh, the typical 12-year-old Highland Park that was told by, well, people out of the company and we heard that rumors we had big ears for that uh, but they do not stay or keep uh, for the exact age so they take different ages or different uh, maturation periods for the cast they mix together um, the color is a little deeper they have a wonderful cork with a screw uh, mechanism on top so that is really tight when you uh, close it again um, that you have a darker color now because it's not diluted down to drinking strength the 40 percent of the 12 year old but it stays a little darker because it's yeah where well less diluted so the color has to be darker i will add a little water to that because 63.3 is a lot for your tongue and this high ABV shows that it is really a little bit a younger one because from my point of knowledge, Highland Park puts the whiskey with 63.5 uh, in the casks 
for maturation as they always did in the past and uh, well there is not much uh, of ABV reduced over the aging period so I think it's not that long uh, in the maturation process. There is a faint, really a faint uh, smoky note on it. This nutmeg, fresh ground nutmeg, yeah. Lightly sweet and this light honey note, which is typical for Highland Park, but not too strong, no? A little bit of orange, orange peel, not too sweet. Strong. The nose is strong and I do not have the feel uh, of alcohol, of a dominant alcohol. So there's a lot of taste in that whiskey, which is able to uh, overcome the alcoholic, the strong alcoholic note this whiskey should have. Yeah. So. So I forgot my small craft, so I took my glass. Um, marks on the glass, so I'm diluting downwards to probably a little bit below 50, I think. It became lighter in color. Yeah, and now it may, it's, it's open. It releases aromas, smells of everything. This citrus fruit notes, this soft toffee, vanilla pots, and the honey, the heather honey note is present. What a wonderful dram. So you have to dilute it. This smell is so much better than the neat one. Yeah. And orange peel again. And a vanilla note. So I'm lacking a little bit of these darker fruits of the sherry. There is sherry in it, but this typical dark sherry note isn't here. No. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I just found the right strength. Still strong, yeah. But already below 50. Wonderful mouth filling. Now the sherry casks are cladding my mouth. Um, a little bit of, well, light bitterness, coffee note in the back. No, not bitterness, licorice. Light licorice in the back. Some exotic fruits and a hint of smoke, not too much. Mm -hmm. So this has the main character of a Highland Park 12 years old, but it is stronger in every respect, lacking the light smokiness. So I think the normal 12 year old, no, the older ones have a little bit more of smokiness. The 12 year old is, is not that strong in smokiness. So this is the like the 12 year old, but stronger, uh, more vibrant and not that matured. Yeah, younger, stronger and more complex. Mm -hmm. A wonderful piece of work, I like it. So hopefully uh, the next release will be quite the same as this one. Uh, you can't uh, make up your mind by this uh, tasting for all the others to come. Um, I typically see that the master whiskey blender, how was it called? Master whiskey maker, uh, Gordon Motion, he will have a reference sample on which he will uh, design or make all the next releases of this cast strength to fit 
uh, this first one so that you have quite a consistency in taste but not completely the same this is a natural product there are differences in it so be aware of that thank you very much for watching stay tuned there's more to come